Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well and uh, today I would like to tell you about uh, some things that strike me when I first came to China. Um, you can see uh, this is the space, about the space and the size of the room in China, in most Chinese uh, apartment. Um, you can see here, this is a whole housing and you can see how high the ceiling is, you know, it's maybe, I'm not sure how high this is, maybe at least five meters high. So it's really high. And um, in China, when I first uh, met my wife, she was uh, studying in the university and um, she was living inside the university and sharing a room with uh, six other students. So this is quite common. You will see in China maybe seven Chinese students who live all together in one small room that is uh, not bigger than 10 square meter. So this is something crazy and I noticed this and this is inside for, for the university students and this is also the same in many Chinese homes, in many Chinese apartments. So the apartment will be very small and you will have several generations, many people live there together, all together in a very small apartment. You have the, 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 the grandparents, the parents, the grandchildren and they will all live together. And, um, um, this is very strange to me and I think this is both a weakness and a strength. Uh, this is a strength because why is it like this? One aspect is you, you can say um, the real estate price is very high in China and because apartments are so expensive then um, most Chinese uh, people can only buy very small apartments. So this is one explanation. But then there is another explanation because even even when I visited a uh, wealthy apartment, what I noticed is that even the bedroom were very small. Then I was like, hey, this is a very expensive place. This, uh, um, this apartment is for wealthy people. And even though it's uh, really small, so why, why, why is that? And I think there is also, it's not only about price, it's not only about the price of the real estate, it's, only about, it's also about the perception, the perception. Chinese people are accustomed to live together. You know, there is a Chinese saying that they say, four generations under one roof is the happiness. So people are accustomed to live together in, the, under, in, 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 in a home all together. And even uh, I, since I have a kid, I discuss with many Chinese parents and they told me, um, they have been telling me um, that they, when they have the baby, they will sleep uh, the mother and the father will sleep in the same bed as the baby and then maybe they will have an, an extra bed but the, the kid will, will continue to sleep and share the same room with his parents. So you have the parents and the kid and they will live together in one room. They will sleep together in one same room. And in France it's not at all like this and I think in the modern, maybe in the more modern China, Chinese people are changing. This is not the case anymore. But it's the, it has been the case and it's still the case for most Chinese parents and for most Chinese families, they will share the room, they will live together and they are accustomed to live together. And this is a strong because um, in, as Westerners you will get angry very easily and you need your privacy and you need, to, you need your private space. But Chinese people, they can live in a very small space and they can live together and they will feel, they will feel well. They don't, they, this doesn't disturb them so much. And um, of course, it will be more difficult as a Westerner if you live in China, for instance, if you take the bus or if uh, you live in some place, you will think, oh, it's too small and I don't feel well. But uh, for a Chinese person, because of his education, this is just normal. This is nothing special. This is nothing annoying. And this is what I want to tell you today. And um, I will talk to you next time. And uh, thank you for watching and for following the channel. And uh, Take care, everyone. See you next time.